Hello everyone hope you all are fine today on a behalf of cctv desk we come up with another video of android tv series today we are discussing about a very important app of for hig vision today we are discussing about easy vis for android tv basically in this video we are going to discuss with you what is easy vis for android tv app actually is what are its feature and function then we'll tell you that how you download and install this app on your android tv and how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share video and subscribe to our channel so let us start what is easy vis app for android tv basically it is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your tv screen this is it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet the main purpose of this app is that by using this app you are able to access live view of the camera not only the live view of the camera you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras you take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera you save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like brightness color etc you take the backup of the recorded videos and many more now as far as its installation is concerned let's come from the screen this is our android tv screen what you should do first you should download easy vis apk and set orientation apk in your system and copy into pen drive you, you may not get set orientation apk for that i make a separate video how to download and install set orientation apk and give link in the description so you can watch the video if you don't know now after installing copying it into pen drive you should insert optical usb mouse and usb keyboard and your pen drive in your smart tv okay now first thing you should do you should open play store in your android tv and search for file manager plus okay now here it is file manager plus just open it and just click in install i here you find the option install because i already installed it that's why it give me an install option when you installing it first time you find the install option over there just click install and after that click open when you click open this is the interface of the file manager plus just close it and insert your pen drive usb optical mouse and usb keyboard in your android tv if you if you are under tv of single usb port then use multi usb plug okay it will automatically automatically detected in file manager just close this and here you find that my my pen drive is detected is detected now click on setting and go to the apps and open file manager plus now after that open pen drive and here you find tooth apk set orientation apk and easy vis apk just open set orientation apk i would install that's why it give me this option otherwise you don't you this option is not come on the screen just click new and click install and when you install just click open and click this one and click on the landscape mode and press okay why do we this we follow this step because it always open a app in a landscape mode otherwise sometime app open in portrait mode which is very difficult to handle and operate it now after that the installed easy vis apk the single click on click on it is it start staging first and then after it is start installing so let the process to be complete it is totally automatic process now click installed 
non-selection process begin. After that, we'll tell you two very important step which has to be taken first before opening the app. Otherwise, your app is stuck in between. So do not skip the video and please watch the video carefully. From here, after installation, we'll tell you also that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature. So keep watching till end. And once again, please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel. Let the installation process to be completed first. Installation may take time, so don't do not try to do anything. Let the installation to be finished. It take time. Now installation is finished. Don't click open. Just click done. Now we'll tell you two very important step which has to be taken before opening the app. What you should do? Go to this setting and go to the device preferences and go to the security and restriction and after that click verify apps and click unknown source if you find if you find easy with here just allow it after that again go to the setting and going to the op apps and click on see all apps and now click easy with and after that click permissions here you should give access all the thing especially a locations microphone and storage now after that just close it and now open the app Now select your region India and click save. Now here it asks for a username sign to sign in. So I guess I have account. If you don't have account, just click on create new account. Otherwise, just click sign in with email and here I should insert my email and password. And here I insert my password. and click sign in now after signing this is the interface of the app what you should do first after login this is the interface okay now what you should do first you should add your device either from this plus add device or from top right corner plus button so just click here add device when you click on the add device it's art for, it's, it asks for what type of device you want to add cameras door viewers video door phone video door door phone smart bulb etc just click cameras okay 
and here it you see that it start scanning QR code. So my TV don't have a camera, so I not able to scan the QR code. So just for that you should take picture from your mobile phone and copy it to pen drive and just click here and give access to pen drive and just give access and it will select okay then this is the first way if you don't have a qr code then what you should do so here you find cannot find or lost qr code for ipc camera qr code on device body and for storage and vr dvr you should use serial number just back it and just click here here it you see that it asks for a serial number okay serial number is the sticker stick on the device itself so just use serial number Now click OK. Now it will automatically detect your device. Just click Add, and it asks for a verification code. Now where did you get verification code? For that you should log in your device and go to the menu and then go to the configuration. Then go to the platform access. Over there you find a connect. Just enable a connect. Just below the connect you find verification code. So whatever code you enter there, you should enter here also. So just enter verification code. and click ok now click next now it asks to change the password default password so for that you should change your password and click have modified and click ok now click done you see just click here you see that your device comes online again ask for a verification code insert the verification code If you disable the description code, then it, it doesn't ask. Now this is the interface of the live camera. Okay, in this way you can access your live camera. Now we'll tell you each and every option one by one. Now first is option is live play and stop. Just click here, your live view stop, and again click live view start. Now here you find the speaker button. When you enable it, you are able to hear the voice of from the camera if your camera is audio enabled. Okay, if you want to take a screenshot, just click here. In this way, you can take the screenshot. If you want to rec live record the screen, just click here. The recording start. When you again click here, the recording stop and it will save to the album. Okay, now here you find the more option like just click snapshot, record, PTZ option. If your camera is PTZ, just click here. Just close this and if you want to two way communicate with your device just click here and my device is not two way enabled but, but in general easy visit camera is come with a two way device just communicate from here and you are able to see the voice from camera itself okay now again click on the single single click on the screen and again click on the more option here you found out in definition just click here and click high definitions when you click high definition your camera become more clearer okay now again when you click on the definitions and fluent your camera become more fluent but less clearer okay now in this way you can access all the option I will tell you all the option now 
just close the toolbar and if you want to check the recording just play back click here okay in this way you can check the recording for example you want to check the recording of yesterday just click here 530 or 5 here you find the recording just click just scroll down a little bit and 1653 now it, it shows the recording of 1653 just click play they start playing okay here you found event view so in this way you can act change all the things okay in this way there is three reward 31 30 and 29 in this view you can check the recording now click live in this way you come you, you can check your record here just click on the pentagon like icon and here you find hide channel alarm notifications all the things you can manage from here now close this again it come just back from here now this is all about storage device easy with studio now here you find the edit device option like when you click expanded condensed list device type rearrange just click condensed so it will more compact like style okay like in this way you can again click on it device just click expanded you find the in this form when you click on the library so whatever you take the screenshot whatever you take recording just all the things store here current currently my library is empty okay now click on there just cancel it here you find the set easy Wiz drive family request setting this is all about easy Wiz app setting cloud even if you take easy Wiz drive all your recording save on the easy Wiz drive okay so all the thing you can manage from here you can purchase the easy Wiz drive from here so just close it again just glow on the devices so uh, in this video i cover almost all the things if you have any doubt you comment me i will definitely give you answers so thanks for watching once again thank you thank you have a nice day